Howdy dorks. Howdy howdy. Happy Saturday. Happy Beaver Day. Happy more Beavers Day. Happy mini Beavers Day. Uh, we're, we're here to play Timberborn. We're here to continue Timberborn. We have a nice big map going and we're 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 building population. I want to see the logical conclusion. Happy mini Beaver's Day to you too. Thank you. <laughs> Merry Beaver's Day. <laughs> um yeah, it's on chatter. We're going to game. We're going to chill. That's what we do here. Um we're going to uh we've already broken ground, I would say on our fourth district. Um we haven't like we haven't made it into a district yet, but we've done things in that area. So today we're going to start putting in the beavers. We're going to do housing and industry and all the things um we have a nice gigantic full reservoir already just waiting there for us and now we just gotta do the thing um so so welcome in we're gonna do the thing uh today's episode is brought to you by fish things that don't exist in this game but i kind of wish there were fish in this game but maybe someday uh but also by you things people who do actually exist uh, click in the buttons down there, the like and the follow and the subscribe and the, all the things and join in the Discord and all those button pushings. I'm liking the button pushings, so thank you for pushing my buttons. Uh, and that's 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 all I have to say about it. Uh, we're gonna play a video game. So let's play a video game. Hopefully this all works right off the bat. Uh, right, because the sound is going. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Uh, oh, and we're, we're just about to enter Bad Tide, that's right. I was smart at the end of last stream and paused right before it started, instead of like right after it started. Um, but you can see here, this is our old reservoir, right? It's impressive by my standards when we built it, but it's, uh, it doesn't last through a Bad Tide anymore. Um, we're probably about to see it get used up here. Uh, but now here is our second reservoir. Now that's a reservoir. That's that's a friggin' reservoir right there. Um, and we already have some flow control mechanisms in here, right? So this is raised and this is lowered. So our bad water is gonna be diverted away from the reservoir, which is critical, right? Um, I think I flipped all the levers. I think I did all the floodgates that need to be done. Um, this will be fine. Here's our third district doing great. Uh, we're probably gonna revisit some of that stuff there. Um, hopefully this has... Does this not have... This don't have water in it? Why do, why do you not have water? Depth zero. Aha, okay. When you first load, the stream gauges all read a zero. T-I-L. Um, but that's closed. And then this closed, right? And then our, our feeder for our reservoir is closed. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Um, we're just gonna get ourselves an, a nice bad tide here. Hooray. Uh, and then we'll, and yeah, we'll get started. I just wanna make sure all this works. Um, oh, and we're, we're working in here, right? We have unwell beavers because we are building in the bad water. Uh, but it is in order to clean it up. We're we're working to uh, to to put a, a rig there, and then we have uh, our have these things. So this is I mean, this is a lot of metal blocks that we're gonna be using here. Plus logs. We finally have logs again, but we had to plant two whole new fortresses just to get that many. Um, and it's gonna be metal blocks that really really does it right. Um. And we have, I mean, we have metal blocks. Like, there's 180 there. There's 180 there. I think there's some back here, even. Yeah, there's some there. Uh, and we're we're making them now over here, right? Here, yeah. So there's a, there's 1,200 metal blocks right there. Okay. So we're good. We're good. Um, Beaver's nothing to do in range. You... Aha, uh -huh. okay, so yes, this is one of the places, and we cut down we cut down all the dead trees. Perfect. Um, I wanted to leave the living trees. Of course, I think some of these are gonna I think some of these are gonna go away. But here's here's our bad tide going away from our reservoir. Very important. Our reservoir is nice and pristine here. Uh, oh, and yeah, we're clean. We're gonna 
we're doing stuff here in order to uh, make a platform for our water pumps. And look, a, a robot without a without fuel. Good. Uh, but that's just because they're operating so far away from <laughs> from all their stuff, right? Uh, once we have an actual district over here, it should be fine. Wow, they go slow when they're out of fuel. The fuel's right there, so they they should they should be fine. Building these water. Oh, and you're yeah. All of our did all of them a bunch of our um like our Lido's and our showers and stuff they don't have permanent water access like this this is fine so far but but even this will go down so yeah I guess all three we have three active districts so far and all three of these Lido's are susceptible to droughts and stuff I feel like we need a better solution there maybe just some some dedicated pits that we we fill manually with water so they're separated from from the river system maybe uh oh yeah and our our batteries we are we're draining our batteries but we're also working on connecting district one and three's power so that will help with their their capacity and stuff but no one can get down here oh that's a i guess that's a thing ain't it they need to actually get there Um, so let's say, let's remove these, because they're gonna, oh, okay. Uh, so we're gonna do just these axles up here so that they can build the, um, you know, the platforms themselves. We're doing a little bit better on logs now, so hopefully we're also doing better on planks. Um, we're gonna do, I need to do both of these, right? And then, and then you can't really get up there, can you? So it's gonna be like, <laughs> like this. Okay, I guess that's fine. I'm gonna get rid of this one, and then, in theory, they can like, right? Like that. Now they can at least work on it. And we should pause this one. And that one. Let them get the scaffolding first. Hi, cat. Uh, how are you, Jam? Happy Saturday. Hopefully things are good in your neck of the woods. Oh, and how are we going to get there? We got to do that one, too, because they can't build... Diagonally. They can build infinitely down, but not diagonal on the same level. Well, let's just get rid of this one. Good evening. Good evening. How's it going? It's, uh, it's... I got a, I got a cat. Uh, but we're... We're, go, we're getting through a bad tide. Uh, but we're gonna be working on our fourth district down here. Look at this reservoir. Look at this pit of water I've made for myself. We're never gonna run out of water ever again, right? We're gonna be good. Gosh dang it. Uh, that's quite the pit. I know, right? And this was here to start with. This is all a natural feature of this map, and I just built this wall here. And there's a water source right here. Obviously, it's doing bad stuff right now. Uh, but we're, we, we carved out this channel, and then we have some floodgates in here so that we can, you know, put more water in. And then the outflow just goes right down here to the map's nat natural outway. Uh, how deep is it? I think it's five. I think this is five. Right? We got... Maybe it's four. Maybe it counts as four. I don't know. It's like it, it always ends up like halfway into something, right? Um, but we got... I want to say like maybe four usable depth, um, which is one, you know, a large pump. So that's going to work out for us. So cool. I know, right? The, the fact that I can just say I want a reservoir there and then it works. So good. So, so good. Um, so then, yes, I want to I want to kind of expand this little platform here. Blam, blam, blam. I'm going to do 
is what, two? Uh, we'll do like that. I think these are all just too far. Yeah, so let's let's blow all this up. Or no, I want to come down one more level, don't I? I want to be on this level. Uh, so then these... Yeah, I want these to be threes. And then this is all... This is all one. And then we'll make sure that they can get up there like that. And then... I think we need like a path, because we're going to have housing up here. So we want a way to come down to the water pumps from the housing. Um, so I think that's what's going to be like... We're going to carve a path right in here, I think. And we're going to need a levee here for the... For our water channel, aren't we? I think that's fine, though. I think... I think I'm gonna bring all of these down. And probably that one, too. I wanna do, like, a, a staircase down like this, I think. Um, but then for the moment, I guess we just need... This will be temporary. Just as everything else is. There we go. Let's land on lamb. And then we need one more. Because that'll be enough room for our, our water pumps, right? Our large water pumps, even. Because these are three by threes. So if, and of course I can't, <laughs> I can't place them over, over the explosives. Um, but like if this is a three by three, or we'll have like some platforms to, to deal with the overhangs and then we'll have a path along the back. I think we can make that work. If not, we'll blow up more. You can always blow up more stuff. Um, I think after the bad tide ends, we're going to put down an actual district center and get to work on actual housing. We have we have a thousand logs. So how are we on planks? We were out of planks. We're still kind of out of planks. Um, we're using our planks quite heavily at the moment. Uh, but we've also built some more uh, plank factories. We got we got all sorts of industry going on in in District Three over here. We're building even more robots. We're up to 128 robots. 15 of them are, are unemployed, but those are going to go straight into District 4, so I'm not worried about uh, unemployment right now. Um, oh yeah, we have... Look at all this maple! We have 1,200 maple sitting here. Thanks for asking. Couldn't type for a bit. Crap, actually, because my job hunting is going badly, but that's fine. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Ba job hunting is... Job hunting's no fun. Um... Yeah, so, sorry to hear about that, but we're we're here to chill. Let, let's there's there's no no barrier to entry to chill in, right? So we can we can just hang out uh, and blow things up. Gonna blow up a lot of things. What if I say sorry, blow up too much? Uh, we can do stare and stare. And then a, uh, a one. Whoop, whoop. And then something like this, right? Why did I blow up that many? I shouldn't have blown up that many. Oh, well. That works out fine. Um, we'll just do that. I'm just chilling tonight. Might apply for something else tomorrow a.m. Yeah, totally. You, you can't... you can't just... Just endlessly filling out those application forms is... soul-numbing. You gotta... You, 
you know, obviously you, you want to, you want a job, but you can't like, like 40 hours of job application filling out is not good for the brain. But look at all our beer bots. All these robots dealing with explosives. Really, it really tickles me. And then we explode. There we go. Okay, so then this can go away. And this whole path can go away. And really, this can go away too. And, and all that, for that matter. I just like a tiny bit of affirmation not getting an interview is a bit worrying. I mean, yeah. Yeah, there's no feedback. It's just you either you either hear back or it's just complete radio silence. It's maddening. We need to do so many to get something. It's just a numbers game. It totally is. It, un it unfortunately is. Um, okay, so then I want I want there to be like a row back there, right? So I want like here would be fine, and then here. Yeah. I think that's what we're gonna do. And then like this, I guess? I guess it's five, because that's three plus two right there. Like that. Yeah. And then now we need to blow up this corner just to be able to get in there. <laughs> it's fine. We'll just blow up more. There. And then we're gonna need a road that goes like this, right? So now these other pumps. That's not too bad. Uh, just two more platforms. Doot. And doot. I'm not going to bother with cleaning up these edges, really. This, this reservoir is so gigantic. This should truly, like, truly we should be fine forever now. Why doesn't that work? Oh, you need one more platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like that. Well, we could blow that up, right? That wouldn't be so hard. And that would be the last one, right? Because that goes there. You could even just go out like that. Uh, but I can't fit another one in between because we're going to have a levee right here. Um, just like that. So then, if I do, if I do that, oh, they, it could get there. Yeah, let's do that. So let's just blow up this little ledge here. That won't be difficult. This is a two and two threes. Like this. And that will give us five pumps. Which is which is a good bit. I mean that's gonna be as much pumping capacity as we have over here, right? We have we have five and then oh yeah, here look. We're actually we're almost done with our bad tide. But we've 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 pumped out everything we can pump with our with our first layer of pumps. Like that's right, because they're not they're not going anymore. Well, now it's nighttime. Um, 
and now the, the bad tide's gonna be done here in a second. But now I can turn these back on. Or no, they're still flooded, okay. So once these run out of once these are no longer flooded, they'll just turn on automatically. I think. Pump up the jam, pump up the jam. Do you mean actually, is it too quiet? Are you just being figurative? <laughs> there we go. Bad tide ended. Um, so I'm going to leave all this. We are still pumping. Okay, so it must just be like, yeah, there it goes. Very, very nose junk. Okay, good. I figured. I just want to make sure. <laughs> um, so I'm going to let this kind of lush out this water here uh, for a minute. Uh, just so I'm not introducing any bad water into our, our reservoir situation. We got a little pit there. <laughs> well, maybe that's what we do. Maybe that's how we do um, showers and junk. Is our little excavation pits. Hmm. Uh, but yeah. Oh, and then we need to turn all these other things too. Uh, this will this will help with that with that, and then down here. All, all the way down here. Uh, we'll, we'll turn this one up and this one down. And then, I don't know. I built this one here so that we could retain a little bit of water in here and keep some of this area green. But it really didn't do much. I don't know if I care. I might not care at all. There we go. Are these? Oh, one's there. Blam. And you're not connected. Oh, because of this, of course. Uh, so we just need to do that again. Yeah, it must be five because they don't they don't touch the bottom. That works out nicely. Um. So now we we. 30 injured beavers. My goodness. Uh, oh, and then we got... We made good progress over here. Uh, this... They can't get there. They can't just stand here and do there. Fine. Um, so I want to turn this one on, specifically. And then we'll do power... This. There we go. Turn on. Cool. cool. And then that got done. Oh, and this one up here got done. Such a process. Do they need... No, oh, someone it claimed it's close enough. It's literally one lug. Y'all can do it. For real? No one, no one can come do this? Okay, we'll come back and check. We'll, we'll check on that in a bit, but that should be fine. Uh, oh, and then our, our reservoir, of course. This all looks nice and clean. And then, yeah, this just turns on. Perfect. Okay, because we have a whole bunch of idle beavers, right? Yeah, we have people waiting around. So now this one is extra deep. This one is like, this one's the max, like this is the bottom of the map. So you can see these don't reach all the way to the bottom. 
Uh, but if we get down that far, then these are uncovered. So then we start bumping here instead. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and flood them all again, like so. Run, beavers! The water is rising! Actually, they don't care. They can just be in water. That's the biggest mind switch between Dwarf Fortress and Timberborn, is not freaking out when your citizens are in the water. <laughs> uh, okay, so then that's good, and then we'll we'll switch this. So true. I mean, yeah, like, a dwarf in ankle-deep water is, like, cause for concern. But here I'm just flooding an entire reservoir with nine beavers at the bottom and just like they'll they'll figure it out they can swim uh oh this got chopped okay excellent look at all this no nope. go away go away okay so now now we're basically all good to start on our, our city center here. We just want one more like that. This is going. These are done. Perfect. And then I want one last pump. I'll accept it needs. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll 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 blow this up. That'll be fine. Is this is two or three. I think that's three, right? Because it's. One, two, three, yeah. Let's do this. Not that they can get there. How would they... How would they get there? Let me just do this. Okay. So. Order of operations. I mean, clearly we're going to need a district crossing, right? And that's going to happen over here. We have a we have a, a builder's hut. Of course, I want I would want the builder's hut on like this side, wouldn't I? Um, let's do we're gonna do our district center. Well, I need to like disconnect all the things. Uh, let's do... Let's do this. Um, I think even... Because it's like too wide if I do... I do that. Uh, district crossing like this. Maybe I do it like this. Yes, yes. Um, right, district crossing, and we'll say like this. So that puts this road on that side. Not that it really matters. Um, we'll say this disconnects here. We'll just, we'll just. Undo all this. This will be on District 1 side. That will be fine. Um, but then we need we need our fuel and stuff on on, on this side. So we're gonna do do a tank and a tank, and I'm just gonna leave room for a, a road to go up. Because I'm sure I'm gonna want more more space in here for things, right? Um, and then a little warehouse for for punch cards. Right there. Obtain this is for biofuel, and this is for catalyst. They'll, they'll work on building that. Um, really, I want 
I want to move. I want to move all these things like ever so slightly, and I want like a big water tank here too, don't I? Because in theory, we're going to be moving water out of this district, and and this district needs water. Come is going to have water coming in like from two different directions. Um. So then, yeah, let's empty. Let's just empty all of these. space for a road and we'll do a big old water tank or a, a medium tank I should say like the most important part uh, water this will supply this will obtain I think that's how we did it we're doing the same kind of thing over here right we're doing Water from here to here, so here we are obtaining, and here we are providing. Okay. I think that works. Uh, oh, and you you are done. Excellent. Oh no, there's one tree left. You left one tree! Cut that tree. Will we see a return to Dwarf Fortress? We absolutely will see a return to Dwarf Fortress. Um, maybe sooner than I was originally planning as well. Because my, my original intent was, um, like we're expecting... Whatchamacallit, um, Adventure Mode is going to come out in April. So I was thinking I would, you know, take a break and then come back for Adventure Mode. Uh, but I might... I might return once we have concluded this, this map uh, with Timberborn. Um... What I like about Dwarf Fortress is the story of the individual dwarves and the broader narrative of the fort. Yeah, exactly. Um, I agree. Uh, there's... This building isn't connected to a district center. Oh, of course, because there isn't a district center. Now that we have the district crossing. Um, but I think that's just gonna go, like, in here. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good place for it because we're gonna do stuff up here, we're gonna do stuff down here, our crossings over here, and do all sorts of stuff up in here. And that's kind of the middle. Uh, I think you would like Crusader Kingdoms three for that factor. I mean, I know I like Crusader King Crusader Crusader Kings, right? Uh, Crusade Kingdoms, whatever. Um. I know I like it. That's that's one that definitely takes like a long time for stories to develop, develop, and I'm also not very good at it yet. I need to play it more, honestly. Um, I want to say District Four has a minimum of like ten bots. Um, does that does that work that way? Yeah. Now we have ten bots. I'm gonna say they work in here. Um, they're gonna work in here as well. Um, sure, last I mentioned it, you hadn't got it. I think I got it. Well, I think I might have had it on, like, Games Pass or something. I mean, might need to, like, actually buy it. Um, okay. So then, now we need to, we need to be doing stuff. I'm gonna pause for a second. Um, let's do, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move these, like, right here, which is silly, but I'm gonna do it anyway matters so little except for my brain like that uh, this will be obtaining punch cards this will be obtaining biofuel oh, come on this will be obtaining catalyst wasn't easy for me to understand it when i started you can dm me if you ever want tips that's fair um i know gantrock plays it a lot too so I don't, I don't think I have a shortage of people who know about it. It's just a matter of wrapping my brain around it, right? Um, no haulers in district. I find that kind of surprising, considering we have all these these beavers here. Um, I'm gonna make a haulers post. 
know that we're gonna want a robot, a robo holler post, right? I'm gonna say that that's robots. Um, and I'm gonna crank this down. I guess four is four is fine. And we'll do we'll do that. That's fine. Um, and then we're we're good over here. There we go. So now we can connect that and blow those up. Perfect. Excited for future DF return though. Good. Um, so what I'm thinking, we'll see if this is, is what my, my thoughts continue to be. Hello, I feel like I've been summoned. You have. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Um, well, we were talking briefly about Crusader Kings, uh, but also Dwarf Fortress. Um, my, and my thoughts for Dwarf Fortress, like there's... There's the broader door fortress, right? There's the there's the world that we made, and that we have a continuous story going through um, through like half a dozen forts now. Um, that's all cool and good, and will continue. Um, but also, um, I don't know if I've talked about it on stream much, but so you know, before we were doing our Metropolis percent stuff. Um, and we were just going by the in-game calendar, and I did that a whole bunch. And I got pretty satisfied with it, and then we stopped streaming it. Um, but also what happened was I did do an actual speed run attempt. Um, and I shouldn't even say attempt. I succeeded in speed running Metropolis Percent and Dwarf Fortress. Um, so, so, by the way, I am currently the record holder for Metropolis Percent and Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> um, just as like, almost as a side effect of all the stuff that we learned on stream. Um, Flex, I know, right? Um, that happened a little while ago. It happened maybe a month or two ago. Um, and the it's up on it's up on the Reach Outer channel. It's up on the the VOD channel. Um, but um, there is one other person who is running. Um, there was a person who had had like an eight hour run uh, at and the, like think I think they did it about the same time we started doing our non speed run runs. Um, but it wasn't up on the leaderboards when I checked and then I came back and checked like three months later and there was a, there was a run there. Um, so I beat that one run. And and now that person is is working to lower their time to to get back to to where where our run was um and i left a lot of time on the table i think i think it can go faster even than what i was doing so if i don't do anything i will lose that record pretty pretty sure um so so i think we need to do more um and i think that might turn into a stream thing um We'll see. We'll, we'll see. There's still a lot of will sees in there, but do I want to do this? Do we want? I want to plant some houses in here. Feels pretty ding dang reasonable. Yeah. Um. Well, and the the way it works out is kind of nice because the like my record currently is four hours and fourteen minutes. Um. So that means. It is now within reason to like do one run in a stream sitting, right? Um, I could say like I plan plan for a four hour stream, and if it's not gonna win within those four hours, then it's not gonna do the thing. So then we would just like ditch the run and do an another one next time. So what if we just said like one day a week, like maybe Saturdays or something, is Dwarf Fortress speed run day? And and we do some actual speedrun attempts on on Metropolis percent. Uh, what? How? What? That'd be kind of cool, right? I think. See if I put. I want like. I want like trees in here. Sounds like a good idea. Excellent. I think I want like I want like bushes and stuff on this on this lowest level here. So if I put, like, if I put a house here, 
then I would have to do platforms here to get in. So I could do it like around this way. Maybe that's what we do. And then we could have like bridges going back and forth. Maybe that's what it is. <coughs> Medieval soap operas for the soap opera god, yes. Um, yeah, we should definitely do Crusader Kings at some point. Uh, can double, double pressure chow. Yeah, we'll we'll get to it. It's I mean it's on the list. There's so many things I want to stream. I still need to get to uh, what's it called Foundation. It's like all the games that I want to play are not like quick things, right? I want there's like there's a bunch of games I want to play. They're like hundred hour adventures each. That's the real struggle. Um, okay, what's for real? What, okay, let's let's think about housing. Let's, let's let's focus our brains for just a moment here. Um, what I want to do is I want to have, you know, kind of a U-shaped housing district here. Maybe some bridges going across. We can do bridges across trees, right? But we can't do platforms over trees. Could bash out a foundation run fairly quick. Okay. It's, I, I was kind of assuming that was going to be a longer game, too. Um, but if it's not, then maybe we'll sneak it in somewhere. Um, but I want to have I want to have houses kind of backed up against this cliff here so that we can put batteries in so we can have batteries coming down like a really tall cliff. So maybe we maybe we start from that side. Because like if I do, you know, one of these things, or even if we do lock this, do that. Similar to Timberborn, probably maybe slightly shorter. That's fair. Is there like a, is there goals in there? Is there like a, a logical conclusion? Because like Timberborn is going to go as long as I want it to, essentially. Um, there's no, there's no actual conclusion to these games, right? Um, and then if we did scene foundation, but not actually played it, yeah. I've heard, I know literally what, what Jam has told me about it. Um, this could go like that. You level up the town so you could try to get it to the top category, but it's similar to Timber Warren that you just make a town and then stop when you feel like you're ready. Gotcha. But there's a there's a top. If there's a top, then you can just kind of say that that's the end, I think. And then... And like that would be plenty of battery, right? As far as backing up into the edge of the cliff here. Like if you did, they're all like, they're all too wide. So you could do one, two, three, four, five, six batteries like that. They'd be super, super tall. I think that'd be fine as far as our battery situation goes. There's a definite endpoint to CK3. It's true. It's when you all die, right? <laughs> uh, a good amount of battery. It's it's a good bit of battery, I think. I hope so. Um, so then if we're doing that, then clearly we're going to need platforms like this, right? There's already a tree there that's kind of in the way. We say that's like our minimum for for our stuff. We could even say, let's flip this around just for the sake of minimizing those platforms. How this actually connects to anything, I don't know yet. That's what we're that's what we're getting to. Um, but then if we do like, you know, I could do a house like this.
And then you could link, you know, these are two power situations, but we could link the power. We'll just do... Do like that, and now they're connected. Uh, I... If you really feel like it, you can technically take your CK3 game and port it to Europa Universalis. I don't think I knew about that. I knew about Uni Europa as a game, but I didn't know you could actually, like, you can actually connect them. So good that I hit the end date with my massive Africa empire. <laughs> Ported to Europa, but that hurts my, that game hurts my head. So what's it? Tell me more about Europa. I know I've heard about it, or I've heard of it. I don't think I know anything about it, though. Um, but then we're doing... I'm going to be overbuilding housing here, and we're going to be... We're going to be putting all these beavers in, like... Immediately. <laughs> um, parts of iron I've considered. I've heard of Hearts of Iron. You, you've you told me about Hearts of Iron, I think, maybe? See here, the question is which way do I face these? Maybe on the bottom level, I have them facing away, so we have some scaffolding back here, but then on the top ones, we'll have bridges going across. Maybe that's what we'll do. So maybe we'll do a, we'll do like a three here, and then like a two and a two. We'll have like little courtyard areas. And then of course I want I want some more of these trees taken out. Watch trees. Yeah, I want... I think I want this whole platform cut. And then I want trees like in here. I just want like this very, like this tiny little sliver here. I want these to be trees. Enjoyed Hearts of Iron because it's always a good time to punch the the, the Vermacht. Yeah, that's fair. Um. Do I just start with that and assume that it'll all work out? We could have a path going in here, but I don't know that I want anyone gonna be I mean we could also come in from this way too. Lots of bridges. Who wants some bridges? quite weird. We'll just do we'll just do it the boring way. Or maybe maybe like this instead. Just for space saving. 
In Foundation, there's paths to complete, like common path from quiet to thriving, and then you can take your estate to notable to paramount down either clergy or kingdom. Oh, okay. So different endpoints, but some some kind of endpoint situations. That's kind of cool. Oh, we could do. What if we do like this? What if we do there, and then we go up, and then we could do. Same thing here, right? We'll go we'll go up. I'm already really, <laughs> really over planning here. Uh, we'll do like that. That's a start. That's something, right? Uh, we'll say that connects there. Then we're gonna want more houses in here, but I'll connect this here for now. I think that'll be a good start. I think that's that's plenty to start with, right? I mean, that's already six. Or no, these are these are each nine, right? So that's eighteen, thirty-six, uh, forty. Oh gosh, math, forty, forty-two. Plus another, plus another 24. So that's like, that's like 60 some odd houses right there. That's quite a bit. Um, but we'll, we'll start with that. And then, and then we're gonna have a hauling, a hauling post. And then I wanna make a builder post as well. Cause those are just good to have. Um, let's say a hauling post is is our priority though, or it's probably our our workplace priority as well. We have we have a whole bunch of idle idle bots, um, so I'm even going to bring in more. Let's just say we have 20 bots already. Why not? Um, and then. And then things like logs and such, right? I want to bring in. I'm gonna do a couple of um, like do a do a log and a plank situation, just because we're gonna need a bunch of those, like right off the bat. My understanding is that the clergy path lets you build like better religious buildings, for example, so cathedrals, etc. by maxing out. Cool. I mean, it looked like building the fancy things was was the part I was interested by that. So like if you're like, what's the what's the biggest, most complicated kind of structure you can build? Is it uh, is it cathedrals or do you build like castles? Castles are like multiple structures, right? But I want to I wanna build something big. That's what that game looks like it was good at. I think you can build castles and stuff. Okay. Can customize the structures. Yeah, it looks like you were... Like you, you designed the whole dang thing, right? That's what I'm interested in. There we go. Okay, and we got our got our fuel and stuff at least. That's the that's kind of the big thing. And then I guess I want I guess I want this side to be maxed out too, right? We'll say that this is just normal beavers for now. Um, but then if we have we have the we have the labor. Uh, while they work on all that, let's go check on. Our, our axle connection. Start with like four people. <laughs> I do like the ones where you start from very humble beginnings. Here we go. Okay. Now I want to do just uh, one of those. And then we'll be connected. We're, we're going to connect. This is like the... The golden gear in the middle of the transcontinental power structure. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we can get rid of this one. Beaver Steampunk, yes. Beaver Punk. And there we go. They are now all connected. Now, like, this is still going down. And so is this. But look how much capacity we have now. We have these these four, each with 22,000. We have these four, each with 22,000, and they're connected. They're all going to charge at the same time. They're all going to use at the same time. Clearly, we are drawing quite a bit of power. But that's fine. Uh, let's get rid of... Get rid of these. Clean up the litter. If I recall correctly, Timber Punk is a canon thing in Timberborn. Excellent. <laughs> do they have do they have their own little little cultural things going? Is that like one of their preferred aesthetics? <laughs> Am I doing okay? I'm doing fine. Just chilling on a Saturday, really. Uh, I've been working quite a bit on new main channel video, uh, which is a, a nice edited thing for when we built our mask. Um, and I think that's that's about done. I think that's about to come out. That's been <laughs> been working on that for a little bit, so I'm happy with that. You're doing good. Good. Good to hear that you're doing good. says no haulers. Well, I guess you're like, why don't these count as haulers? What do they, what do what do the people employed by the district actually do? Also, we've made over 400 robots total. Waiting on logs. Um, and then we're. Oh, you can you can be a robot. How about you chop some logs for us? That'll help. I think they use timber punk as a team as a term to refer to the power mechanic. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now that'll all get cut down. Wee, 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 wee. The sequel to Timberborn is Beaverborn, where the robots overthrow the beavers and build their own cities. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We uh we play as like mice who live among the beaver ruins. <laughs> it's always logs. It's always logs. It's always logs. How's our tree farms doing? Don't we have? We just instantly went up to another three hundred. Like, look, we have logs. We have trees, we just need locks. I guess the robots are probably also timber punk. The robots are, I mean, they're beaver robots. They're definitely timber punk. Really, beaver born is a souls like, but there are beavers instead of doggos. Hmm. That would be terrifying. I don't know. I don't think I'd be as scared of a beaver as I would be of a dog, no matter how rabid the beaver is. 
We're getting there. Do you hear they're big fans of The Clash and the Sex Pistols? <laughs> One more lug. Jeez, we, there we go, okay. My gosh. Um, so now we have five vacancies, but we still have 20 unemployed robots within the world. So let's, let's bring this up to 24, right? Still says there's a vacancy. Uh, oh, with the lumberjack. Of course. Just do that. Building a robot out of wood and then telling it to chop down trees feels a little mean. Uh, it feels like the kind of thing someone says before running into Placido Beeve. Oh no. It once had seven tails. Okay, so now we have a hauler. And I think we want a builder next, right? Or like that. We're gonna wanna, we need more logs. We need, we need logs. So like immediately I wanna build a tree farm for this district. I'm thinking about like here, just doing one big, one big forest right here. I think that's gonna be smart. Planting trees earlier rather than later. Seems like a good idea. Uh, and so we're gonna we're gonna make a little pit. I'm gonna make it right in the middle here. I don't know if that'll get the whole plateau, but it'll get a good chunk of it at least. And we'll just do like this. Uh, and then we want a little water tank. Then a forester. That's that'll be fine. Do flag flag. And that'll be good, right? And these are gonna be like bottom priority for now. So we just, like we already have 22 idle robots just just hanging out. So like this side. I think I'm going to say we're going to bring in another what? Six robots to to district 1. Just to just to staff that side of it. Yeah, we'll go up to 40. We'll say this is for beavers. Or for, for bots, for beaver bots. And then we have zero idle here. We have zero idle here. There we go, drought approaching. We'll have 17 idle. District in District Three. We do have nineteen spots available. Is that all in here? So this needs this needs to have forty robots. I guess we didn't set up a, a minimum for this, right? Yeah, let's set this up to no, no, no. Oh yeah, I want 
I want to have 40 robots in District 2. Now we have zero free robots. Look at that. And we have two, two robot positions that are not that are not stacked. And not a real easy way to see. Uh, oh, there's a, a mine. Okay, but that's fine. The mine is doing fine. Uh, those are all. All the hauling posts are fine. That's yeah. That's a lot of. That's a lot of robots. And then all of these. Those are the farm, farmhouses. All the district crossings are all full. Perfect. Okay. I think we're we're essentially fine. That's that's close enough. Oh, we didn't lower this. I need to lower this. There's a lot of water in there. Oh, our, okay. Ooh, geez. I screwed up. Our, our reservoir has run dry. Oops. Um, and then we're doing stuff here, right? Yeah, look at that. Flooded. Well, of course it's flooded. Uh, but, you know... It can just be off for now. That one's done. Wow, okay. So now we're just waiting on this one. Cool. Could be a whole source of bad water just dealt with. Did you never... You never actually did the thing. Whatever. Um, this is probably going to be part of District 5? Uh, we probably need to import explosives, don't we? Uh, so I need explosives and extract. What else are we not getting? Medicine is fine. Books. Robot parts. Uh, metal blocks we're gonna need. Uh, probably gonna want treated planks. Um, boost we want. Punch cards we want. Uh, gears we want. Probably good for now. Of course, we're not not having to feed anyone, so that's always nice. So if a district has no, like, if a district has zero flesh beavers, but a bunch of housing, will it will it create beavers from nothing, or do you need to actually have two beavers to have a baby? That's what I'm curious about. I do, I do want to get rid of all those dead trees at the very least. So then, is this still waiting? Yeah, we're just we're just out of logs. It's so cool. I don't know if there's more. I mean, there's there's some more dead forests we could chop, but they're all so far out of the way. We go up to like 300 logs very quickly. We can store 10,000. That's ridiculous. We just use them all immediately.
I guess there's some trees here. What about you? Why don't we just chop all these? Some of these are maybe getting done. I don't want to move too many actual beavers over here until until we have some houses for them. like I want them to carry bigger stacks hauling hauling one thing of biofuel at a time you're carrying one plank two logs three planks they can carry so much more than they're carrying our power have we drained everything no we're actually okay we're hovering in the middle of our battery so that's not bad if there's all these trees we're we're slowly cutting trees right yeah they're do i need another cutter in here Cause like there's way more there's way more trees to cut than they are cutting. Maybe they just need more more staff. We're good here. Good. Let's do you and you. better. Are we... Where's our other tree farms? We have another tree farm down here. This is clearly staying cut, right? It's also much smaller. There's also this. This is our new tree farm. Still waiting on all these. So once these get going, this is probably going to need another pair of... Uh, Of choppers as well, isn't it? I'm just gonna do that like right now. We have we have the labor. <laughs> Let's 
If I can throw, if I can fix a problem by throwing beavers at it, I'm gonna. And this seems okay. Like these are all oaks, but they're they're staying chopped. Just got a couple of of pines left over. I guess there's some some oaks over there. Maybe it needs like just one more chopper. And this is all maple, so it's staying, obviously. Um, and then our, our other tree farms are down here. And this seems fine. They're definitely keeping that cut. This is all... This is all maple. Holy cow. I did a lot of maple, didn't I? I could have done... I should have done more chestnut than maple here. But here's our... And this is for tapping for pine, and then these are staying chopped, so that seems fine. Some of these should be chestnuts, shouldn't they? Because now we're, like, flooded on maple. Alright, we have 2,000 maple. I think we're okay on maple. We do want some maple here for the purposes of, um... Or do we? Because we're because maple is for catalyst, and we're not doing catalyst here anymore. That's right. We don't actually need maple in District Two anymore. I'm hesitant to chop all of it down. But like if I, like all of these still have. Like, all of these have produced. They're all just waiting for another tank of, like, another spot to put maple. So I'm actually going to say, of course, now I don't have, like, a forester in here to, to, to <laughs> plant more stuff. Um, or do I just assume that I'm going to need it? Ugh. I wish I could see my numbers more. Like what... How much of my maple end I'm, am I using? Because we do have a ton here. But like a good chunk of it has been harvested from recently, but a good chunk is still has still produced again. Okay. Like, we could do... We could make more maple. We could plant more maple if we needed to. So what if we say this? Let's say... A lot of these maples are going to turn back into tree farm. Um, just because we need logs. And then... This tapper can do that stuff. It's all chestnuts, and then chestnuts are gathered from gather flags, yeah. Can they even reach? I guess so. Um, but I'm gonna mark... Oh, these are already marked for cutting. Duh. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna chop these down. I'm gonna leave these maples for now, but we'll chop these down. And then we'll have to find a place for another another forester. I get well, maybe not. Or what do I do? Maybe I just yeah. Let's just get rid of this. Because if if our inventory is full, then it's not doing anything. I'm going to replace that with a forester. We're liter literally redoing a thing that we undid in a previous stream. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, and we're going to say that a lot of this is going to turn back into oak. So then I can do like this, right? I'm going to undo the planting orders.
Now let them chop it all down, and then we'll we'll turn it into oak. That will be some more logs. My goodness. Uh, I would like this to be made. I mean, in, in theory, things are being done. They're They're working on it. They're working on it. On all these platforms too. Yeah, I gave them a lot of stuff to do, didn't I? And um, of course they're gonna need like a big old tank to store a bunch of stuff. I do like a big tank? Let's do like a big tank. Let's do a big tank. Mm -hmm. And that's for water. And that's like a low priority. Make sure a robot goes in there. Bye. It's temporarily high priority to chop those five trees. <laughs> it's just logs. It's just... It's just a log thing. Uh, those... Yeah, but we are growing logs here. That's good. Oh, and there was that other spot over there. That's right. Oh, and these... okay. These don't quite... Well, I mean, they're gonna survive. Okay, so this, this pond doesn't hydrate all the way out here, but these... The sunflowers can clearly survive a drought. Even if they couldn't, I think we're fine. We have some sunflower seeds. Our food is still pretty glorious here, I think. It says there's only... Oh, I'm looking at a... Um, I'm looking at one district, even. Like, everything is full except for the chestnuts. We're even full on maple pastries now. And with, with a full tank of maple syrup sitting here. There's logs there, I can see them! <laughs> it's really just draining very slowly. So now you can go away. Thank you for chopping the things. Hey, look! A house that no one can get to. I guess let's make sure... Let's do like this. So that there will be, you know, some housing to start with.
That's gonna get made real fast. Jeez. I told him to... I told him to make it the lowest priority and it's still gonna get done before all this other stuff. It's because it's literally just logs. Because this one doesn't take logs. Interesting. Yeah, and we're gonna need we need better situations for our, our Lido's and showers. I mean, can I just What if I just filled this with water? I mean that'd be a lot of water, right? I mean that's overkill for water. We also have a lot of dirt. We're out of dirt! We've run out of dirt? How the heck does that happen? Where's our... where's our jacuzzi? It's out of dirt! We... okay, so we need to be mining more dirt. Um... But that's... That's fine. It's landscaping? It's gonna need power. Because of course. Who has who has the spare robots? District two. Where would I? I want to find a higher elevation to do the dirt from, though, because that didn't last long at all. Because we started near the bottom of the map. So I want to do like up here. I mean, I should do it in a place that doesn't already have one of our water pits. Or we could do like up here. I'd make that'd make quite the pit, right? And then put some some Lido's and showers around it. Let's try that. Because this is at least close-ish to power. We'd have to route power over, but that's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna do like... I'm gonna do like this, right? Or no, it'd want to be like that. Sure. Even if that's let's call let's call this a separate situation from from the Lido's, because that's it's going to take forever for them to actually dig all the way that dig all the way down there. And I want to solve the Lido situation before that will happen. Uh, so I'm going to disconnect all the things and just put in a little T junction there. And then we're going to do some platforms. Just, you know, more... <laughs> more, um... More log usage here. Oh, but I need that. That's fair. Let me go like that. Uh, and up, and then back down. Can I even get to all that? Probably not. This is just... Just in the wrong spot, but we're gonna have dirt right there, so it's fine. I'll say that they can just do that. And then this connects here, I guess?
Nope. Uh, and then that should be staffed by robots, I think. Is this... Yes, yeah, so we need more... More robots to be designated for here. Uh, so we'll call this... 38. How do we have unemployed beaver bots? There's 11 here. We have 40 working. Nope, that's not what I meant. Oh, we can... whatever. Right, I'm only... I'm saying 40 minimum. There's 11 extra. Why aren't they showing up over here? We need 43? Okay, there we go. Uh, so now that will be for dirt. And then we should make a little storage thingy. For dirt. And the robots will dig around the clock and we'll be good. And then since this is empty, it's just straight up empty. Um, mostly just want for scrap metal. Sure. Um, I mean, this could obtain. I don't think there's really... Have we smelted all of our scrap metal? We have smelted all of our scrap metal. Yeah, look at that. Wow! Um... But I want a little, a little thing for, for dirt here now. To maintain the mud bath. Now we're chopping, chopping some logs. So yeah, I'm going to say all this turns into oak. Slowly. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. These got made. Water. Uh, I guess you can do that. And then we're just going to say that every, every, everything can be staffed by robots. Unconnected. Oh, yeah. Look, okay. We're, we're clearly getting there. Um, and then we have a giant water tank. Perfect. We've even pumped some water. Who's... Who has pumped the water? Are they just importing water here? Okay. They're, they're just bringing water from other districts into this tank. Which is not really how it should be working, but... Um... Really, we just want to make sure that there is food coming in. Um, so we're just going to do another little cluster of small warehouses in here somewhere. Maybe we'll do like, do like this. Do lack of this. One, two, three, four. 
I could have like put I could have put warehouses like up in here and done paths on top of them. That would have been smart. I'm not gonna redo that though. Okay. You will obtain bread. You will obtain carrot. You will obtain crackers. You will obtain chestnuts. Someday. You will obtain taters. You will obtain spatter up. You will obtain pastries. You will obtain sunflowers. Look at that. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we have food and water in, in our district here, so I don't feel so bad about bringing in a whole bunch of beavers. Clearly we need to connect some things to make all the houses work, but let's bring in... I don't know, let's bring in... If I just if I just raise this minimum, where will it take from? Like will it will it take from from idle beavers elsewhere? Like here we have district three, we have 26, 27, 16. But really I want to bring like 10 from each. Um what if I do 10, 10, 10? Does that work? We have 30 beavers, 25 of which are idle. But that's fine. Now, now we're going to have, yeah, now we have, now we have staff. Uh... We have, we need more robots. We have five robot vacancies and there are 11 idle robots out there. We'll just say that this goes up to 30. Perfect. And then look, oh, it got the whole thing. Gorgeous, look at that. Uh, so now let's plant more oaks. That's just all gonna be oak. That's all going to be marked for cutting. Yeah. That's probably going to need even more than just the two... The two things, right? I should, I should learn from the lesson I just learned. And put in another pair of choppers. Oh, and you don't need to be a robot. You can just be a normal beaver. And you'll be a normal beaver. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That looks, look. We have a district. We have started a district here. We are pumping all this water. It's all gonna get exported. I think that's, that's good, right? And then look, we lay up all these trees. Chop the trees, please. Are they just sitting there? Have I not marked these for cutting? I didn't mark them for cutting. Please. And thank you. That'll help a little. Why can't I? Can't plant there, why not? And 
And then these have all been made. Look at this. I think we're just waiting for this bad water to dry out. Is it still flooded? Can I... It is flooded. Uh, but now these aren't going to work. <laughs> we're waiting for all this to dry out. And these... Yeah, these aren't going to work. <laughs> well, we're, we're down to 11 injured beavers. Uh, we have... We've chopped quite a bit here. There are still quite a few trees there, though. And you're good. One unconnected building, so you're just... Where's your... Oh, did I put stairs in front of your entrance? I did, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Uh, but we could, we don't have to do it that way. We could do, we do it like this. Perfect. Okay. Now this district has 30 beavers and 30 bots and 12 children. We still have 27 open beds. We have two idle robots. Interesting. Okay. And we have food. We have we have water. Okay. Look at that. Um, we have we have started this district. Um, so now we want to like do the things. Um, I'm gonna do another pit over here. This is where we're gonna do chestnuts. That's what I decided. I'm gonna stick with that decision. Um, but just somewhere, somewhere in the middle here. That would be fine. Then I want a forester. You know, for right now. Uh, but this is gonna be for gathering, right? Yeah. Water tank for our, our pump. And then a I'm gonna get a big warehouse for for the chestnuts themselves. Seems overkill and also not really. Yeah, we'll just do that. Because I want to provide enough chestnuts for the whole dang map, don't I? That's for chestnuts and it will supply. And then we're going to need to roast the chestnuts. And then we should do more food in here as well, right? We shouldn't just depend on importing everything except for chestnuts. Um, so we need a spot for... I don't know, maybe carrots or taters? Something that doesn't take a, a whole ton of industry. Like, not crackers and not pastries or bread. Uh, we have way more taters than we do carrots. So maybe let's just do a carrot farm. 
somewhere. Maybe down here. Be like over here, even. Because I could just just trim this up a little. Let's do like this, and we'll say. Well, if I need to make more stuff, I can go over this way. So let's do this, and then we'll have this road. Just kind of go through the middle here. Where are you all going? You all rushed out all at once. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but then I want, I want another pit. I want yet another pit. And it's gonna go right here. Not quite centered, is it? I think it's fine. I think that's gonna be fine. I want beehives. We should be doing beehives on our on the on the crop farms. That's a thing we're not doing. Hydrate, hydrate. We're hydrating everything. JM, what's with all your self-care? Uh, this is going to be for water. And then we need farmhouses for this. Let's do it like that. Oh. I like looking after other people. I know what you mean. I should like get up and stretch. Jeez, I don't think my microphone can pick up all those pops. But if it can, you're welcome. Uh, so then, yeah, one of these is gonna harvest carrots and the other is gonna plant carrots. And then beehives, we could just do like It don't gotta be the whole thing, right? Let's do that. Because it doesn't seem like we have to do anything to maintain these. It looks like you just put down a beehive and then just... Things are better? Oh, paper? Are we importing paper? Which side I... Import always. Right, so then... I want paper on this side. Hmm. I 
Explosives? I assume we're importing explosives. Yeah. Um, and then a, a place to put the carrots. Not that we're going to make that many, but we'll have a place for them. Yeah. You get used to the buzzing eventually. It's just bees. <laughs> I know that feel. <laughs> You don't have to do anything, the buzzing just happens. Okay, I think we can... I think we can designate more housing. We're back up to 2,000 logs. So that's that's a bit better. We chopped a bunch of this stuff. Uh, so let's finish this thought at least. This could be a three. Or do I hmm. Do I leave do I leave all of this? Like we don't need I wanna go up from here, so I'm not gonna build down. We'll say that this is all gonna be our, our garden area. Our, our, little, our little aesthetic thing. Um so I'll build some more here. Just to kinda match, right? I mean, if I do that, that's a pretty symmetrical thing, right? Um, so then I would just get rid of these. Um, and, and that even. <laughs> Good luck with that, beaver. Do you just... <laughs> Apologies. I think we're just going to do that. Like this, these ones backed up against the edge. I want to continue these up a bit, right? Because that's going to be our battery capacity. Of course, this is going to be a little awkward. It's all going to be awkward. What am I saying? I could even just to change it up, I could do like this. <laughs> There, like this. And then, yeah, just to keep it simple. Like that. Like, we're not going to get a, a battery there, I suppose. Unless I do... You can do like this. <laughs> That's silly. And then just do a house on top of that. Uh, 
why not, I guess. And then... Even do... I get away with that? Okay, I don't know if I can actually get platforms to all that, but we're gonna... Here, I'll just pause, pause them for now. Let me... Let me figure it out. And then we could go... District 3 was Bridge Town. This is going to be Platform Town. Um. Then do I go? How do I get there? Because I could just do like I could just do this. Nope, that's not what I meant. Because then, because I can do that, and that gets this, right? Hilariously, but then... This is just... Oh look, a bad tide. Another bad tide. Good tide or surprise tide? <laughs> surprise tide! There is good tidings. That's a that's a thing people say sometimes. Did you know that the word tide just means time? They're just the same word essentially. So whenever you hear like Yule Tide, literally just Yule Time. Did not know that? I know, right? I learned that not too long ago. It's so like good tidings is just like good good times. See coming in time exactly, because yeah, the, the the relationship between tides and time is pretty clear when you think about it. You can keep time by the tides. It's high tide or low tide. It's high time or low time. I could do... I can't get... I can't put... can't put platforms over the trees there. This little one is... That, that's just gonna... 
I mean, I could just leave this as a, as a little blank spot, but it feels like cheating at some point. But I think that is going to be what I do. Um, let's just get rid of this and this. I'm going to try to keep it as simple as I can. I'll get rid of this one. One there. And then we'll do that. I think that's fine. Not perfection, but it'll be fine. I enjoy that with place names. I remember as a kid, it dawning on me, I was like, Borrow in Furnas, uh, that town. It's a Borrow in Furnas, the place. Interesting. Like Fur Furness? I don't think I've heard of Furness. Furness? Furness? Is a place and the Borrow is in it, and everyone was like, Yes, please shut up about that now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. New York, yeah. Took, it took me a long time to realize, oh, there's an old York, too. Or just a York. There, there is just a York. Um, I mean, in theory, like that one space I'm not actually used for battery, right? I'm gonna have a battery here and here and here and here and here and here. Yeah, okay. Actually, that's fine. I live in New York. That's fair. I've been to New York. Is that the same? <laughs> so I think I want, like, maybe if these go up by one and then this goes up by one. I mean, what's our housing at? We're already at, we're at 62 beds. No, we're already at... We're already at 120 beds here. That's ridiculous. You've been to York? No, I've been to... I've, I've not been to York. I've been to London. And I've been to other places, but I was like... It was part of a, a guided tour that I was not guiding, so I don't, I don't actually know all the places that I went to. I know we went to New York, or not to, we went to, uh, we went to London, uh, and then we, we went up to Edinburgh, Edinburgh, however you say it. Um, so whatever, whatever's between those two, but we, we like drove on a bus, like, straight through, so. There's a lot of stuff in there I didn't see. Maybe I'll just do... I do want to have some bridges going across this, right? What's our what's our longest bridge? Almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't quite do that, can I? Fine. Lived in five places, but all in England. Hmm. Birmingham is last. That's fair. Why is Birmingham last? Uh, oh, now we need to we need to switch all of our stuff. Let's do or no, not that one. That one can stay. This one goes up. This one goes down. And look at all look at all those trees. This goes up. This goes down. This goes up, I guess. This mainly this one goes up. This goes up. This goes up. Close all the gates. Bad tide incoming. Close the gates. But our we're full. We're at five thousand water. Holy cow! I do want to put. I want to do some beehives in here, don't I? like I 
wish I could see. I want to see its footprint. It's three out in each direction. If I do one, two, three, right? Get rid of that one. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. Do like that. One, two, three, one, two, three. You can do there. And do there. Ah! Cool. That works. Uh, Birmingham is just a big sprawling modern town, not much history, terrible traffic, and we had no friends and family. That always makes it worse. London was amazing, but we also had no money because it was so damn expensive. That sounds like a city. Uh, but we had this flat that was 22 stories up and it was very cool. But in the end, the pace of the city and cost burnt us out a bit. Glad we left before COVID. Yeah, no joke. Really liked Lancaster, but my partner didn't and in hindsight wasn't great. Do like York a lot. Well, it's good good that you like your current place. That's a good sign, at least. Um, we're not screwing anything up here, right? This is all good. You're all good. You're all good. Cool. Oh, and then we're still waiting for, still waiting on extract, which we are attempting to import. Are we just out of extract? Oh, probably because we're not successfully getting uh, bad water at this point, hilariously. But look at that. I'm just going to turn this on. Uh, and we're gonna occupy all of our beavers. Look, we only got six unoccupied beavers in this district now. And we've completely dealt with this source of bad water. This is all fine now. And I can even, can even take out all these, uh, these platforms and reclaim, reclaim all this wood. Look, that's 78 planks right there. Holy cow. that and then we'll just do one of those well cool. I'll leave that I'll look at it go <laughs> that's a pretty satisfying animation I gotta say I enjoy that the, the little bounce at the end that's really good Rest in my hometown is special, but it is also objectively not amazing there. But hometown is always hometown, right? Like my hometown is a generic suburban sprawl, but it's still home. Feel like about my hometown too, yeah. Medium-ish town in northern Colorado, yeah. Middle of the middle, yeah. It's There are cool things there. There are things in each of those towns that make them a little bit special, but in the grand scheme of things, it's they're they're just they're just sprawls. Um, so then we're gonna get rid of these pumps because they're never gonna do anything again. Give it all this all this contamination barrier. We don't really need, strictly speaking, but I'm not gonna bother getting rid of it all. Um, and all these platforms as well. Give me back my platforms. And I'm even gonna make, we're gonna make like a, we're gonna make a big tank for bad water. We're gonna make a big bad. If 
we can fit it somewhere. A bit. It's a bit far. How fast are you making? Jeez. Well, it has a lot of internal capacity. Holy cow. It can hold 1,200 just inside of itself. We're going to do that. This is going to be for backwater. And this will supply. Now we should be making extract, right? There's bad water. Should I make more? Should I make more of these centrifuges? We do still have. We do still have beavers. Uh, I want a centrifuge. Let's just let's just toss in another centrifuge. I'll make it. We'll do that, and we'll not have to worry about a power connection. Let's do that. Why not? Oh, but look! Oh, <laughs> the water was invisible, and I was like, oh, we're drought, we're not, we're out of water again, but actually we're fine. Wow. We're doing good here. Look at all of that, that's all planted. Uh, still waiting on these, but it's but it's happening. Uh, logs and logs and planks are happening. That's good. Um, but I want I want some more more beehives for these taters. My USA knowledge is very limited. I shared youth hostel for two weeks with a guy from Portland and a guy from Uganda and another from Rwanda. Slightly different places. Spent two weeks in Baltimore, Maryland, plus a few days in New York. I mean, those are those are some classic US towns. I've never actually been to Baltimore. Uh, but that's like it's like as classic US as you get. Uh, I think I want that one, right? And then one, two, three, one, two, three, and there. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. I think we'll call that good. I don't feel like I, I don't even feel the need to get like every square inch of all this. Maybe we'll just do one in here, one in there. We work with a lot of people in Pennsylvania at work too, cause Quakers, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that is where they tend to be, that part of the country. Help, right? Um, sounded like it doesn't do any good to do uh, the underwater crops, but we're also like we're constantly fine. We could probably deal with like another. Could probably put in another farmhouse here, honestly, and just just to keep people busy. Um, there are a bunch of beds here. There's not really, but there are. We do have ten people not doing anything. Um, like if I just put this here, or what if do these not get? I mean, they they do. Hmm. I put stuff like way over here. Spatter dock. Prioritize harvesting spatter dock. Why not? 
U.S. is so big that it's hard to know all the parts you don't know about. I know. I mean, I feel like I, I haven't been to most of the U.S. There are, are entire... Not time zones, because I think I've been to every time zone, but like, not even... Some of them, not much. <laughs> um, like the whole east of the Mississippi, I have had very little experience with. And the whole south of the U.S. I've basically never been to. Quakers are cool. I've only met one and then spent too much time on YouTube about them. At least of the religious groups I'm familiar with, they're pretty chill. They're on the chill end, I am I imagine. I've never met one in person. Um and see like this. These are still drying. Okay, interesting. But they're they're gonna make it or no? Some of these are gonna die. Okay, so this pit doesn't because it's going uphill. So this doesn't quite quite keep all this hydrated. Hmm, we could do like a pit back here. And clearly, this is gonna stay. You know, for whatever whatever worth it has, it's just, it's gonna remain static. Really, we want like a, a pit back here somewhere for these potatoes. But we're we're doing okay up here, I think. These are all gonna stay alive through each bad tide. Like that's the fact that we can have bad water here and just an, an alive potato right there is pretty good. How's our pit? Look at that! It's going. We got some dirt. And our batteries are staying topped up. Fantastic. Fantastic. Up to 4,000 logs. And this is filling. Of all the religious groups, the Quakers are, f are fine. <laughs> Considering... Your your history with them uh, just just a fine is is interesting. Uh, very much your own truth, but be nice to people. Yeah, pro queer, but for the most part, peace, integrity, equality, environmental stuff. Yeah. For my sins, I am a Quaker member in the UK. That's fair. Uh, yeah, huge range of geography and culture. Yeah. Oh, look at that! There we go. Quakers annoy the hell out of me a lot of the time, but they try. Heart's in the right place, mostly. Except for those stupid turf Quakers. Oh, jeez. That's not a phrase I <laughs> expected to hear. <laughs> Which makes no theological sense, but the others are too kind to kick them out, basically. I mean, the turf sneak, sneak in everywhere, don't they? Um, I think we were going to get this whole platform, though. And I'm not, like, I am, I am religious, I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not an atheist or anything, but most, not even just most, oh, this, yeah, we're, we're still waiting on extract, hmm. Um, religions are great, churches bug the crap out of me, that's where I say it. All of my, all of, all of the thing, all of the bad things I have to say are are about churches. 
and not not necessarily like people within churches. It's always the organization and the things that comes out of out of the structure that that does the most damage, I think. Uh, okay, bad tide over. I mean, look, even here, we got like through a whole one layer of this, of of this one. With but we like we're still at four thousand water, so we're fine. But geez, that's a lot of water. Uh, so we'll raise that one back up. Do this one. Lock that. Put some. Put some beehives in there too. Oh yeah, look. Now that all got harvested. Perfect. Uh, this can come down. That's just gonna stay there forever. This can come back down. Uh, but yeah, we just wanna wanna flush it out. They do indeed, sadly, that's the main flaw with Quakers. They try to, they can be too kind and are only just realizing that this creates structural inequality. Mm hmm You keep waiting for the racists and transphobes to come around, you lose pe use the people who are oppressed. Yeah, it's true. Well, it's just old school hippie love and that's like a curse. <laughs> um, I mean, it's the paradox of tolerance, right? You... You you can be tolerant of of all other people, but you if you're if you're truly truly tolerant, then you have to tolerate the intolerant people, and then the intolerant people make your your space intolerant, even though you are tolerant of of all the people. So you have to be tolerant of everyone except for intolerant people, which is a really hard thing to get your mind around. But honestly, more more religions could be about old school hippie love, and that would be fine. <laughs> hey, look, a whole tank of bad water. Cool. We're almost up to four hundred people too. Got extra going. Do I need another one? We're down to one unemployed beaver here. Okay. Uh, this is done, thankfully. So let's plant some carrots. This whole... I'm just gonna do all of this as carrots. And if this crossing needs more stuff, it can just go up onto this side. Because these can... yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just do that. There we go. Some carrots. And that provides... yep, okay. Look at them go! When they got a job to do, they do it. Um, all right, so now we are approaching having trees here. Uh, this happened, thank goodness, so now we can do that. Uh, and of course I want to chop down all these dead trees. Uh, but I want a fluid dump right there. And then I'm going to do a lumberjack just to chop down the dead ones. I can feel the game starting to chug. That's really my my question with this game is like how how does this game behave at the extremes and what are the extremes? What happens when you get a thousand beavers? That's what I want to know.
It also takes ages to decide anything as to avoid some of the pitfalls of other churches. It has to all be decided by Quaker business method, which is a wild and kind of cool and basically an int moot. Interesting. Sounds a bit frustrating, but also better than some other things. Also great mental <laughs> image of int Quaker int moot. I agree. I want to s I must see this. I send that scene to my friends uh, who still work in the London office to make them laugh and annoy them. <laughs> Perfect. This is fill-in, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Chop the trees! What are you doing? Oh, you got- because you got too many logs there. There we go. Okay, You're, you'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, I hope it cuts all the way out there. I didn't think about it being hydrated from the the reservoir. Probably could have moved the pit over a little bit. Oh well. Uh, but we are eventually going to have logs. Uh, so we're going to have industry going in here, and we're going to have power here. So I'm going to want to. Guess let's work on that. Um, we have a hundred and yeah, we have 120 beds in here already. I think I'm going to do one more layer here. And then these are all... These are unified, right? They need some stuff to do, don't they? They need some well-being in this district, for sure. Uh, but let's cram in a bunch more first. even? Right. Mm. Oops! Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, but these are on different levels, aren't they? Oh no! That don't work. Okay, what if I do... just a normal house? Then how did they get there? Would be like that, and then like that, or even except I must be a three and then a one. I keep making all these weird puzzles for myself. Appoint a clerk from the people there. They then serve the room. and you can speak to an issue, then the clerk sums up what's been said, which becomes a minute of his... And essentially, everyone has to agree to that summary. It's very intense with big issues in a lecture theater worth of people when it's an annual meeting. Oh, geez. Yeah? No, Fred disagrees, let's bring it back next year. I mean, I can understand why that would be slow and frustrating, but I also appreciate that it's actually more... Uh, more measured and... less reactionary, I guess? Like, you wouldn't...
sorry, I'm thinking about two things at once here. Um, like, I get annoyed when things don't take as long as I think they should, right? Like, if, if, if your entire decision-making process is three people in a, in a five-minute meeting and they come up with a decision on their own, it, that's when bad things happen. Can I do... except I can't, can I? What if I do lack... Uh... Yeah, what if I do like this? Hello, creature. Also awkward. This <laughs> is so... There. <clears throat> it works! Uh, then they have to get up there somehow. Efficiency? What's that? I think that'll work. And then I need the rest of all that. Hi. Can I just focus for a second without a cat in my face? That... Ooh, much to ask. A lot of beds. There's going to be a lot of beavers in this district. Uh, but that's fine. That's what I want. Oh, and then... Oh, this isn't going to transmit power down. Because I did that. Oh. Hmm, so we need... <laughs> Can I do... Does that work? I see blue. We'll see if that works. But it does mean when we say something like, fuck it, we're going to start marrying people of any gender and sod what the government says, it's very powerful, true. Although, of course, it was much much nicer minute and turned into a nicely persistent asking the government to make it legal but i mean yeah i mean that's how that's how change happens though it's it's all very it's all very gradual when you get to the big scales like that at least change that change that lasts
All right, so then if I put in a bunch of batteries, look how tall that's gonna be. That's, that's gonna be pretty glorious. If I say so myself. That's pretty good. Um, they just need a way up there, right? Those might get removed, but they'll at least be able to get up there and make all those. I like this. This is... it's like a big motel. So that's some battery capacity. Now we just need to put in, like, the actual windmills, right? The windmill village! I'm making the windmill village, aren't I? <laughs> this we're definitely gonna get a dance hall in here. <laughs> My main takeaway from this game is you wanting more beavers. Yes. Beavers, I want all the beavers. I want the extreme of this game, whatever that is. Uh, can I? I just want to do. Want to hook all these up, right? And then, is this the same? Can I just do a little bridge? Or no, because that's going to be one up, right? I just need... Just... This will be temporary. I'm not gonna be able to do all of this at once, so I'm gonna pause some of these. Most of these. <laughs> I think they can do that one, that one, and then these three back ones, and then we'll like work our way back. And then over here. Well, some of these just got made. Interesting. How did you reach that? Okay. This has 36,000 horsepower hours. And then I'll just plop these where I can, right? I don't think I can get any in there. Maybe we'll do trees in here and then like windmills in in here, right? Can I do I can do here? Mm 
doesn't necessarily make like physical sense with how wind works, but I don't care. I just want windmills. Same kind of deal. That can go there. There. And then this is all connected. That's all just one. All just one deal, ain't it? Cool. Neat. Um, we're, we're gonna get, we're gonna end up with 200 robot beavers. Um, but I'm just gonna route the power back around this way and we'll, we'll power stuff in here. I think that will work. And we'll just do... Actually, I'm gonna do a little... A little way under. To preserve access in there. Bunch of platforms, I guess. Can I? Oh, what? Hmm, I can't go over that, can I? But I could go. I could go like this. Oh, but I'm going even higher up. Yeah, yes. No, that's fine. Right, we'll just do like... We'll do like that. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Okay. Gosh. A lot of stuff, ain't it? Uh, we're not getting grilled chestnuts or maple pastries or sunflower seeds. I guess that's fair. Um, the chestnuts. Oh, look, they chopped all this, so you can go away. Did hydrate almost, almost everything. Uh, but I'm going to plant chestnut trees. Right? I'm just going to do this whole thing. And we're going to not cut any of them. That, this counts as a tree. That tiny little thing. Whatever, it can stay. This is 121 away. Oh, we should like, oh, we should just connect through here. 
Aha, that's what we should do. We could do a platform and a bridge. Is that that's too high? Yeah. Perfect. That'll cut that that trip by quite a bit. Um, and we're going to want to grill our chestnuts, right? We'll do that over here somewhere. Uh, all right, we want a gr couple of grills. And I'll do... I'll, I'll, do a, I'll do a nice big... Nice big warehouse. I guess I want a, a normal warehouse for for the raw chestnuts that we'll take, and then this is for grilled chestnuts, which are here, and that will supply. I'd even want more than that. Trying to supply the entire map. Hey, look, all those batteries. <laughs> and all that scaffolding. Okay. I am going to get rid of the stuff that I don't need. Right, basically this whole layer. You're fine. Okay. these things. Paper? How are we on paper? We're using our paper. Um, I want to, and I want to plant my trees in here. I'm going to other oh, building. I guess I'm going to let them build stuff first. Um, and I'll just I'll have them build the platforms themselves first. Back up to 5,000 logs. <laughs> Is that good? Is that enough? Uh, no one can get there. Because, of course... Can I just sneak in a... nope. So I need to get rid of this one and this one. And pause that one. And they... they can get back there. And do those. 
and then clearly they're doing fine on that. And then, yeah, then they could go across that. Okay, another bad tide. We're just gonna get bad tides all the time now. That's great, I love it. Um, but we're also, we're growing. We are finally growing. Um, I'm gonna make a big pile for logs. Are we... Did I never reset? Did I screw up again? We're gonna get another bad tide and I never <laughs> reset from the last one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, this is all fine. Do you plan to grow any plants this year? Yes. I don't think we've planned on what... which ones. Um, I mean, our rosemary seems to be doing good, so we will continue with rosemary. I don't know. Gee, there's so much water. We have limited space in our balcony thing, but yes, plants of some kind, yeah. I mean, it'll all be pant pl uh, yeah, pl pl plotted plants. Um, jeez, I love this. I love this. This looks so nice now. Um, and we could do some more, more sage, or I mean, we can try basil again. We've tried basil a handful of times, and... Not always succeeded. The paper? It's paper. We, we must be importing paper, right? Yes. We just don't got any. Uh, we're doing we're doing paper here, but we're, we're clearly using it all. What district has labor? We have 17 here, we have 12 here, we have 140. Holy cow! Is that all? It's got to all be in this district, right? Y'all are. We have 100. Idle beavers in this district? Okay, let's do this then. Uh, clearly we have power. Uh, I'm gonna do like a pair of, be of builders and another hauler. Uh, let's, I'm actually gonna do a hauler down here uh, to kind of match what our other districts do. Do like that. Uh, but those will all be staffed by normal beavers for now, and that'll help us get our other stuff built and, on, and, and moved around and stuff. Tomatoes? Oh yeah, tomatoes! We're definitely gonna do tomatoes. Now, uh, it seems to be only two settings in America, loads of space and land, like let's build a wooden house on our field we own, or live in a box and hang... and my children out the window to see the sun yeah we have the second in the uk and then i have and then i have a small garden i mean even there is a middle ground but it's like you have a house and you have a, a little front yard and a little backyard um that's a pretty common setup too like you don't have like not everyone has huge tracts of land um but there are some people who have many many acres to their to their name um, but that's not most people most people either live in an apartment or they'll have like a 
you know, like not not quite suburban, but like right on the edge between like downtown and and like the actual suburbs, you'll have a whole bunch of houses where you have a real small front yard and a real small backyard. That's pretty common too, I think. Hey, look, it's it's a thing. We started we started the stream right at the beginning of a bad tide and now it's time to stop and we're about to have another bad tide. It's like a groundhog day except beavers. Homegrown tomatoes, yeah. We our homegrown tomatoes last year were were amazing. I'm um, just used to seeing these big lawns and stuff. I mean, they're definitely a thing. But like more and more. Like, I don't know anyone who has one. <laughs> Even my like my parents have a yard and a, and a decent yard for the neighborhood, but it's not like. Not expansive, it's just it's it's enough for the dog to run around in. Big lawns are a boomer thing. I mean, it's not that everyone wants them. Like everyone would have one if they could, but the people who have them and hold on to them and can't afford them all happen to be uh, of, uh, of an older generation. Because, you know, that's just how housing markets work. Or at least how, how our housing markets, how our housing market works. Um, did we fill up our reservoir? We did. Excellent. Excellent. Boomers do hold a majority of wealth in the U.S. Yeah, I, I noticed. Without regulation, they break like that. Yeah. It's all, and, and even more so, it's like... As they are sold, they aren't necessarily sold to younger generations. They're being sold to, they're, they're being turned into Airbnbs and stuff. They're all being sold to holdings companies and, and asset companies and things like that. Um, to, wow, that is, that is quite the pit, isn't it? And it's done. Look at that. We've dug a pit. Oh, game. My, I killed the, I killed the camera. There we go. <laughs> okay, so this isn't doing anything anymore, right? This is just, this is just done. Uh, I'm just gonna say, no one works here. Let's, we can do that. Uh, but we do have a full thing of dirt. We dug a pit to harvest dirt, and then we dug a pit to put the dirt in. <laughs> okay, this all looks fine. This all looks fine. And the real trick is if, if we do another district down here, there's no way I can keep this clean all the time. Like that district will have will have bad water for the bad tides and there's nothing Oh no! I've missed one! Oh no! I've poisoned the water hole. Oh no. Crap. Crap, now we have to clean this up. I missed a lever. Uh, but we can just do... We can do this. This is fine. This is fine.
Oops. Oh, these all got made. Excellent. So these are going to grill chestnuts. No, not potatoes. Now these all got made. Okay, so that'll work. Uh, we'll just turn on some of these. They don't really have a way to get up there, do they? Or no, they can just they can just get on. Yeah, okay, cool. We're gonna have to get to this other side too, though. is too far. It's right there. Or I guess you need to be built first. That's fine. Uh, all right. So then this can be turned back on. It's not going to work. Why not? I just do... Oh, because that don't go through. Well then. space for a, a rooftop rooftop anything for that matter look at all those beavers holy cow holy cow uh, so then what I need another bad water tank here I can just do... I can just let him do that. That's fine. We're, we're making carrots. We're already up to 472 beavers. We could, we could probably do 500 beavers with just four districts. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll just say that these... These are our four districts. We'll get each one up to like 125 ish. Um, like we already have. Yeah, we have 495 occupied beds and seven free beds. We could have 500 beavers with our current housing and 200 robots. Wow. Maybe we'll just maybe we'll just do that. This is quite this is quite the accomplishment, I think. Uh, all right, and then this one goes on. the yeah and then and then we're just gonna need to do a bunch of well-being stuff we'll do like monuments and stuff I think yeah I think I think that'll be good I think we'll we'll say four districts 500 beavers 200 robots and then we'll just get them up to 50 well-being and 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 make sure they have all the food if we can get the chestnuts to work here I think we'll be fine like if that's enough chestnuts which it might not be. That is quite a few, at least. 
Um, and like our maple. Maple's fine. We have 2,000 maple. Perfect, so let's do this one and this one. both these on. Yeah, we need we need more paper. Do I need to make more paper. I mean, we're we're using all of our paper for punch cards. We have we have logs now. We're back up to six thousand logs. I mean, I could say, like, is District One ever going to make metal blocks again? We would have to import scrap metal from another district just to use these buildings again. What if I just turn this into paper stuff? What if we say we're done making metal blocks in District 1? Even the observatory is completely unnecessary at this point. We have a hundred thousand science. And nothing to do with it. Uh, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a, a pair of paper mills. Alright, I mean I could do like that. And that. And then... And then we're good. We're good on science. It's fine. <laughs> we're... we're good. down another paper warehouse and then that'll just supply to our other our other facilities where the heck there it is uh, you will supply click the clicks are getting less reliable He's all beaver bots standing around. I guess that's fair. This place has become quite efficient. Oh, it's still going. Okay. Still going. Maybe it's just it's just because the stockpile is full. Okay. Uh, that will supply. Night all night night. Have a good night. Uh, thanks for hanging out. We're just gonna I'm just gonna finish out this bad tide. Um, but come by on Monday, right? And and we're gonna keep going on our Dyson Sphere. Our Dyson Sphere is gonna get big. It's gonna get big. Uh, so yeah, have a good rest of your weekend. Plant chestnut. Do, 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 do. Big sphere. Big sphere. <laughs> oh, our poor reservoir. Uh, it's a good thing we have water to spare at the moment. Uh, oh, that one got made. So now I can do this one.
And then what what power stuff was gonna do here? I was I mean we should just do um some lumber mills and, and gear things, just size, right? Let's do like this. We'll do lumber, lumber, lumber. Gear, gear. Hey, the one that got made! Okay, perfect. And then it's, in theory, connected to the houses. Uh, so now it just needs one of these. And then that got made, so you turn on <laughs> My poor reservoir. I guess I need these two windmills to be made so that I can actually connect power, right? That's the way I've done this. Nope. Just the path. And how do we connect power? I do want everything connected. I want to have one one big power circuit. That's gonna be that's gonna be a big axle. I mean these trees are clearly not doing all that great. This will be a thing for next time, but. 
have to go down and go through here and then up back here and then across and then through here yeah that's not it's at least relatively straightforward now like at least right now I haven't filled all that in with a bunch of stuff And then this district is... This is the awkward one. I could have an axle going... All the way through. Or I could do... Jeez. This district is already... It's like so much smaller. This is like... Our first district is definitely the, the less... The least complicated, I think. I mean, if we had, just let's, let's flip our levers. Feeling the frames a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm surprised that this game is the game is doing it. Like we're it's it's chugging along, but like it's it's getting the job done. We're verging on 200 robots. I see a whole thing of extract here. I see two full things of biofuel. There's all this water. Yeah. I just want this to clear out a bit and then we'll and then we'll open this so I don't forget. Because I will. Um, oh, and this all got chopped. Yeah, we can we can tell this to be trees. That's enough. Already. I'm pretty happy. We've done, we did quite a bit here in, in District 4. Like all of this, everything you're seeing right now is has been done today. All of this, all of this, all of this. This was all done today. What is... Oh, just one more. Yeah, we'll turn that one back on. And then... Oh, we just need one more. One more and we're all connected. Right? Yeah, like that. Is saying this is no, he's not connected. Hmm. Does a does a does a windmill on a roof not connect with 
with the house beneath? I kind of assumed it did. Like this, this connects, but this doesn't. Hmm. Okay, well this is, this has got 300 on this network. Zero demand, but that's also because it's nighttime, right? So I think we're, we're getting power here. Uh, but... Like it should be connected to the battery, right? Oh, it's going! It is actually going. Are all these going? These are all going. Okay. So the batteries are connected at least. Right, okay. So then it is, it's supplying and now it's going back up. Okay, uh, that works. But then this, like these on the roofs are, are not connected. Hmm. I thought, we'll have to address that. Because you put a battery on top of a house and and it's connected, right? You can draw the power out from the bottom. But if you put a windmill on top of a house, it don't do anything. It means you need to do like... Now I'm not gonna have any space in here for my... <laughs> for things. I do what if I do this? Well, I'll get those three in there. That'll connect to this, and that's connected to everything else. Well, it's just like these two random... I don't know that I can do anything with that. Except it won't connect there. That's the front side. Hmm. And then I don't think I can. Maybe I can. Okay. So then I would just do this. That is so silly. This is really silly. Oh, but I can't. Oh no, I can't! Oh, uh, can I like this? Oh, that connects. What if I do? I can do this. This one I don't know about. That one might not work. Because can I even... Oh, I could do that. This is very silly. This is very silly. There. 
perfect. <laughs> yeah, so now this is on a network with 2,000 power. All of these? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyone get there? No. Those are good. The rest of those are fine. There we go. What? Still not? 900, 390, that's what they all say. Oh, because the, probably because the batteries, okay. But I think they're all connected. I think, I think I got them all on the same circuit. Yeah. But not supplying zero? I'll have to make sure this is all working. I mean, it's drawn from the batteries. And it's charging. I mean, if the batteries can go down and up, then clearly they're clearly they're connected to something. But we have successfully made a windmill village. Uh, can I do? Yeah. Oh, can I get like a sunset in here? When I can do, is it? Oh no, that's. Uh. There was some there was some button for hiding the UI, but it's fine. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I that's it for me today. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for thanks for. Yeah, um, hanging out and chatting while we're getting all these beavers in there. Um, I think we're good. We're we're about ready to call it a, a day on this map. I think um, we're gonna just. I'm just gonna do the four the four districts. The game is chugging enough as it is, and we're clearly gonna be able to get to 500 beavers with just the four. Um, so now, now I just want to get the beavers that we do have and the, the districts that we do have, I want to get this up to like the maximum well-being. Um, we're going to make sure that District 4 has all of the things that they need. Um, they have like nothing as far as well-being goes right now. They just have food and water. So we're going to get them their, you know, their dance hall and their mud bath and all their things. Um, and then we're going to do a bunch of those big monuments. The big ones. Because uh, some of those were doing like a ton of well-being. Like the, the big one is like eight on its own. Um, so we'll just, we'll just find a place to shove it in there for each district, and then we're gonna be good. That's what we're gonna do. Um, and then, and then we're gonna probably move on to other things for the moment. Um, I'm gonna, like, we'll come, I think we'll come back for the Iron Teeth someday. Um, but you know, there's, there's plenty of other things that we want to do as well, as we were talking about. Uh, so today's episode was brought to you by Fish. Hopefully they're in the good water and not the bad water. Don't eat the bad fish. Don't don't eat the bad fish. But also by you clicking all those buttons down there. Uh, the like and the follow and the, the the fish and the, you know, whatever. Whatever the buttons down there, those are good buttons. Uh, so I appreciate all you hanging out with me and and, and joining the Discord and, and all that kind of stuff. Hearts, hearts to you too. Thanks for being by. Um, and... And I'll be here on Monday. We're going to play more Dyson Sphere on Monday. 
and we're gonna keep going on that. I'm gonna keep going on Dyson Sphere until we have a Dyson Sphere. I know the conclusion to that one. We're going until we're done with that one. Um, definitely. So, come by on Monday, and, and I'll see you around. Have a good rest of your weekend, and don't forget to stay